सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल डिजिटल प्रियर लेक्चर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एक्सटर्नल ईयर इन टुडे पर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इन मिडल ऑफ मिडल ईयर ओके इन दिस वीडियो इन दिस पिक्चर वी हैव शोन द आउटर ईयर विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एक्सटर्नल ईयर This is called middle year. This particular part is called middle year, and this is inner year. Okay. Now in this video, we will discuss about middle year, its structure and function. Okay. now continue in middle year we middle year is basically a air cavity air filled cavity in which three bones are present which are following first is malleus it is a hammer shaped bone okay second one is in car which is annular shaped irregular shaped bone okay and third one is facet which is three rod shaped bone so in this uh, picture we have shown the tympanic membrane the hammer shaped bone which is called malleus the irregular shaped or annular shaped bone is called incus and this this is called tirop shaped bone which is also called staphyl and here is oval pinto and it is round pinto and this is going down on a called auditory tube okay it is external apostatic meatus stabilizing ligament which stabilizes the whole three bone it is stabilizing ligament which stabilizes our three bone that is ear ossicles okay so in this picture we have shown auditory ossicles or ear ossicles in ear ossicles three bones are present three minute bones are present first is malleus it is the handle of malleus okay in the center part or in middle of two minute bones there is another minute bone which is called incus okay and uh, it is uh, attached with the third one which is the smallest bone of our body which is called stapes stirrup shaped bone okay so what is malleus bone malleus bone is hammer shaped bone its handle attached with tympanic membrane okay its handle is tightly attached with the tympanic membrane so this is malleus bone this is lateral process lateral process which is so grown outside okay this is called manubrium or handle of malleus bone handle of malleus bone okay this is the set for incus the set is the attach we are it attached to the malleus incus we are attached to malleus is called facet for incus 
This is the neck of Incus anterior process which is ground anteriorly and this is manubrium and this is the head of malleus bone so our malleus bone is shown like this okay now we will discuss about incus bone Incus bone. Incus bone is an anvil shaped bone. It is attached with the head of malleus, which we had discussed in the last picture. Okay. So in this picture we have shown the incus bone incus bone it is the anvil shaped bone anvil shaped irregular bone okay it is the short truss of the incus bone this is the attachment this is the attachment we have Sap is attached with the incus. This is the body of incus, and this is the part we have from where it attached to malleus bone. So it is called facet of malleus. In malleus, it is called facet of incus, and it is the long crust, long projection, and this is lenticular process. Okay. So now we will discuss about step is bone, the minute bone of our body, the smallest bone of our body. Okay, this is our smallest bone, smallest bone of our body. It is triangular shape. It have a foot plate. Step is bone is like this, and the this is the foot plate of it. Okay. This foot plate is attached to the oval window, which is present at the medial bone. It is attached to the oval window, oval window, not round window, oval window, which is present at the medial bone, but the inner ear. Okay. So this is our bone step is. It is had from where it is attached to incus bone, and this is neck. This is anterior crest, anteriorly. This is posterior crest, which is posterior, and this is the base of stapes. It is the base of stapes, which is also called foot plate. Okay, foot plate. Okay, about the shapes of all three ear ossicles. Now we will discuss uh, about its function. What is the function of middle ear? Okay, in this we have shown all about the three bones. Hammer shaped bone, anvil shaped bone, straight up shaped bone, which is which are also called uh, malleus, incus, and staphylis. Okay. Now, in this, we will discuss about the mechanism of middle ear. What is the function of middle ear? So basically, it is the air cavity. Our middle ear cavity is bilaterally compressed. It is also called biconcave cavity. Okay. In these three bones are present: malleus, incus, and the staphylis. Okay. 
so when the air comes in our ear it have some pressure so it has some pressure so when it hit the tympanic membrane the tympanic membrane start vibrating okay start vibrating so we know the handle of malleus is tightly attached to tympanic membrane so it also start vibrating when it start vibrating the vibration comes in the head part okay so the malleus also start tympanic membrane act as a resonator now what is resonator the tympanic membrane reproduce the vibration which are produced at the source of the sound okay this tympanic membrane again start the vibration which are produced at the source of sound where sound is produced so we know air is compressible elastic medium and they approach to tympanic membrane and hit it so it start vibrating and the malleus handle is tightly attached to it so the malleus also start vibrating in the middle ear cavity there are three minor bones which are, are also called middle ear ossicle we know that uh, and main function of middle ear is that it will pick the sound wave energy from the tympanic membrane from the tympanic membrane and leads to three minute bones malleus incus and stapes okay there is uh, an oval window oval window present at the medial wall of internal ear okay the end foot plate of stapes fit into it and this window opens into the inner ear in the fluid of bony canal of inner ear when this step is vibrate the fluid will which is called perilymph and inside the membrane cavity membranous cavity there is endolymph inside the membranous cavity there is endolymph and outside it it is called perilymph so the step is inward so the cavity is called scala vestibuli step is is inward so its name is present on the basis of step is one so it is called scala vestibuli Okay. And lower is called lower one is called scala tympana. Upper one is called scala vestibuli, and the lower one is called scala tympana. Scala tympana opens in the round window, which has elastic membrane. Scala tympana opens in the round window. Remember, it is oval window, and it is. round window okay it will opens in the round window scala tympanum opens in the round window which is present below the oval window in the medial bone okay this this area we have scala vestibuli and scala tympanum joint is called helicotrema okay so 
due to vibration in the foot plate ossicles will produce in the oscillations will produce in the scala vestibuli in the perilymph of scala vestibuli okay and this will lead to stimulation of hair cell in the ocular duct okay ocular duct where hair cells are present it stimulate that hair cell which produce vibrations okay it produce vibrations in the cell Impediment of scala vestibuli and scala tympanum. Remember, hair pressure is more than hair. Why? This is the large area. Okay. The medial ear changes the large area for to a small area. So hair pressure is more. Then hair, okay. So we can say that hair sound is represented. So vibrations or oscillations created hair. The banding membrane is seventeen times larger than the oval window. This banding membrane is seventeen times larger than the oval window. So it hair pressure is seventeen times more than pressure present at tympanic membrane. So basically, the function of middle ear is to pick the sound waves from the tympanic membrane and leads to three ear ossicles, malleus, incus, and stapes, and put the sound at the inner ear or we can say that transfer it to the inner ear so friends about the inner ear we will discuss uh, in next video so please subscribe share and comment on this video thank you